Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I wanted to come and wish you a good day. I'm here to speak about spirituality. I thank you so very much for supporting the channel, for your likes, for your comments, for your sharing, for, for subscribing, as well as for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. It takes me a few days to get uh, to, to be able to do that, but um, if, if you feel you need... So, so it's like uh, I wanted to discuss the, the few ideas. The first one is that, the, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, the, the, tr the truth of who we are is consciousness, eternal and finite consciousness. We are souls, of, souls and spirit of eternal and infinite consciousness that chose to participate in the evolution of a collective consciousness in the, in the universe of time and space. And so this consciousness manifests as energy. Everything is, is filtered through our personality. Personality is a great mystery in the universe. Nobody understands it except God, that is the creator of all personality. Every personality is unique. And there is countless personalities, just as the snowflakes. There is not two snowflakes exactly like. And so, um, and God is the first personality. Of course, the divine personality is very different than mortal personality. It's like one is on the very top of the ladder, the other one's on the very bottom. So so it, it is not, uh, it is something that's quite mysterious, but personality is the hub that, 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 that we channel those energy. And right now we chose to, to this energy that we are, that, that our consciousness is producing, to produce, to, to exist through a physical vehicle, to participate, to, to assist the planet with this uh, ongoing process. And so, um, but, but it, when we see God is eternal, so people can accept that. And, and he sees all things, he sees each incarnation is like a day within our life. And God knows that we had thousands of days before us and we'll have thousands of days after this one, after this incarnation. So, so it's like sometimes we have a hard day, but it doesn't mean that uh, the, the, our true life is, uh, is, um, is being affected. Huh? But, but it's like, because uh, God sees the, the potential as already actual. It's like something God shows me about my future. I say, well, I'm ready. I'm so marvelous. Thank you so much. It's, it shows me potential that I have within me that are completely uh, beyond my, even my, I couldn't even construct it because it's like it's beyond my, uh, but my I am presence is already is showing, uh, this I am presence is showing us, knows already the, all the past and all the future. So, so it, and he wants us to align with the present in order to, to so that we can fuse with the, the, the future will become the present this, this liberated future so, so it is very important to realize that we are consciousness to don't forget we are eternal consciousness and finite consciousness and as, as we integrate those, those value those codes those those memories those insight those uh, perception those, those powers those, uh, then we will be able to orchestrate our own life and reality with, uh, as well as assist the world in, in a more um, empowered way, so to speak. I wanted to discuss some of the programs of the matrix, the deconstruction of the matrix. For those, um, do not let yourself be shaken by the destruction and the catastrophe that will be presenting themselves. Um, all the souls that, have, that are going through that have accepted and to participate on that level also. Continue to send your love, your light, and assist as much as you can, but do not carry a burden of something you have no power over. So, uh, and filter through your heart and go into your heart as much as possible. Um, for those who seek to, to, to stay within the chaos of the third dimension, we'll continue to see more of that. Huh? It is going to continue for a while. And the third dimension is not all that bad. It's got ups and downs. It's got joy. It's got sorrow. It's got. It's like. Uh, but it, it's like uh, eventually we want to create a dream, a dream of a, a dream of a reality that we imagine and then we experience. But eventually we're going to move into this collective new dream of a, of a new earth, a fifth dimensional, a collective dream, aspiration. And um, as we connect collectively to higher consciousness, it is the co-creation of a world of peace, of joy, of creativity, of respect, of freedom and love. For, for the, the, there is already a separation that happened between the warmonger and the peacemaker. Huh? It's like there is some that are really driven by this ne negative ego, and they want fight, they want, they want conflict, they want to fuel that energy, but do not participate. But the, the, so the separation of the timeline is already happening. It is important to write down your dreams, write down your visions, write down your your, your, dream, your when the dreams at night. Write down your plans. It informs. It anchors the unit. Anchors that into the 
into the physical world and um, and then feel it as it already happened as much as possible so um, and always seek inner cons- inner conf- validation from you from your inner self from your inner being or from your higher self it's like because they then they, they have a far greater vision for our own life than we can have because here there is always the critical mind when we sleep we do not have this critical mind therefore we're doing a lot more during um, during our sleep times than we we can think we can know I'm going to pull a few records, but I wanted to talk about the tarot. The tarot is really nice. I really enjoy it. I was, at some point, I was making a living with that when I was living in Florida. Uh, but but when you read the tarot, it takes at least six weeks for it to enter. If you do it every day, I'm coming to realize it's like you're just putting... You don't allow the time for the oracle to, to be anchored and to manifest. So so it's like... Um, so it's, I don't think... I, I might do it once a month. But so it's like, uh, and also I wanted to discuss the fact that we do not seek salvation from the matrix, uh, from the third dimension. Uh, the progress are happening slowly but surely. Yeah, it's like we can. It's going at the god speed. Huh? But but it's like seek your, your own salvation from from your alignment with your soul and your divinity. Then find this liberated. Pass, uh, to be liberated from the then we will be able to live in this physical world once we find that connection that that full integration and manifestation we will be able to live within this world of matter and form uh, but in a liberated way um, uh, we'll be independent we'll have a, we'll be connected to our super consciousness and sovereignty will be free we have to become dominant over our conscious reality rather than to be in the push and pull of the third dimension, this pendulum of duality that's always swinged by other people. So it's very much important to return to center um, because the, the third dimension and the lower third D is really... A, it, it, we're not going to find salvation there. We have to, to find salvation on the upper planes. So we have to be liberated mentally and emotionally. We have to be liberated creatively and financially. Uh, very, very essential, very important. And of course, freedom of speech uh, for everybody needs to be able to express as long as there is no hatred. Well, there is a lot of hatred that has been communicated, but that's not what's being censured. It is all what's, what they're trying to censure now is all the people that are not submissive to this tyrannical uh, the dark agenda of, of like there's 20 30 agenda but there is the dark and the light the renaissance of the light and um, and um, and this orwellian style vision of the of the globalist so but uh, you know so i'm not criticizing them that they're, they're really uh, they, they're gonna they're gonna be suffering a lot as the, when the, the time comes and, and, and everything comes up to the surface, they're going to have to face the responsibility of their own creation. Because uh, there is a time, the time of God, the hour of God. When God wants something, things change. And God will just have to think something and things change. God is only limited by his own volition and he allows time for, for, um, for, for the enfoldment of our will and, and learning through our experience because of cause and effect in this magnetic universe. So divine timing is very important. And um, and when our soul, it is our soul, our beloved soul, our divine soul, <laughs> thank you, my soul, to, to to move me from from to say that I have learned a lot from lack, I've learned a lot from from suffering, I've learned a lot from chaos. Now I want to learn from from. Um, from abundance, from from harmony, from serene joy. This is what I seek to do. And, and when I, when the time is comes, then we are liberated from the karmic past, from the wheel of karma, and we are able to move into a more um, integrated period, which is a period of rest and regeneration. So I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to still pull just a few cards for the day. The observer of the day is may the truth be the truth. The Buddha said there is three things we can never hide forever. It is the sun, the moon, and the truth. So the truth, the whole truth is going to come out. Huh? So just do not be in a hurry for the, everybody else to know about the truth. Just receive your own truth from your, from your higher self. And the highest wisdom is the message in the bottle, to read the sign, to read your intuition, to read the, the subtle message that life is sending you all the time. What we need to understand is we are in between worlds. It's a buffer zone. We cannot have a full clarity on what is going on, yet we already have a foot into the light. And so that's the direction we're going into. What we need to do is deep knowledge, to rely on this deep inner knowledge. And the outcome will be the respect of the rule, the alignment with the law, the law of one, the law of 
the truth, the, low, the higher laws of the universe, just as the Earth's law. But if an Earth's law is completely criminal, we, we, it, it is our responsibility, our responsibility is to the truth. For example, in, the, in, in Nazi Germany, it was the law that we need to, to send the Jews to the, the, the concentration camps. Huh? And it's, it, but, but it was completely morally and ethically completely uh, against the law of God, the law of love, the law of one. And there are many laws that are trying to enforce right now that are completely unethical. So what I recommend is passive resistance, not to confront it necessarily on the frontal, pay, frontal stage, but to... to to not participate, to say no thank you, and, and, and to ignore it as much as possible. So uh, the way uh, it was the book from um, Etienne de la Boétie, when he was 17, he wrote this magnificent book, uh, the, the Discourse on, on Voluntary Servitude. It's like, can, can, the, the servitude has to be voluntary if, in order for it to be... Um, to be uh, subservient to a system, there, there needs to be a consentment at some point. So, this was, well, this message was interesting for you. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to put this, this reflection, this mirror reflection. A lot of cards are coming up. So there is, there is a, I'm going to pull one card from the Akash to see what, what is it today that we... Akash is our memory. It's, it's, we have that within our blood, within our DNA. And we have the galactic memories that are opening up and to remember the fifth and sixth dimension to connect to our galactic families, our galactic memory. We, we've spent thousands of days of lifetimes within those civilizations as well. We have friends and family there. We just couldn't remember them well. When we came down here, we accepted to erase our memory. But as the memory awakened, we are called to reconnect. Well, I'm going to finish with a song. It's a song that talks about... Uh, Looking for the sunshine in time of winter. It's an old song. It goes, uh, it's called California Dreaming. All oh, the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. I've been for a walk, been for a walk, on a winter's day, on a winter's day. I'll be safe and warm, be safe and warm, if I was in L.A., if I was in L.A. California dreaming, California dreaming, on such a winter's day. I stepped into a church, I passed along the way. Oh, I got down on my knees, got down on my knees, and I pretend to pray, I pretend to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold, preacher likes the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay, knows I'm gonna stay. If I didn't tell her, if I didn't tell, I could leave today, I could leave today. California dreaming, California dreaming, on such a winter's day. Personally, I'm eager to return to California. I haven't been there since 1990, but I have friends and family there. And it's only a city that's always been very good to me. I always have wonderful experiences. This time I'm going to come in with much more within my consciousness and power. So it will be really nice. Right now there's a big cleaning up on the Hollywood scene. Uh, I had a visitation last night uh, twice of... Um, the Soul, soul brother called Michael Jackson. He came to see me twice because there's going to be some clarity about his death that's going to be made, and so maybe that's why he came to he came to say hello, sent greeting to him. It was, a, it was a good person. He, he wasn't responsible of many things that he's been accused of. He was just himself used when he was a child. So the the observer of the day is uh, is equilibrium, is balance. The highest wisdom is hesitation, to overcome hesitation, to, to be in clarity. Sometimes we cannot get clarity until we have all the information. Huh? What we need to understand is joy, to find joy, to be liberated, serene joy. What we need to do is renewal, a brand new, new beginning. It's a renewal, it's a new life. That is before us, and the outcome will be happiness. God is setting us up for a life of happiness. And we have to transcend our limitation, our fear, our our ego blockages and, and, and all of that. So as we overcome the, 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 the hesitation, we find humility, we find unity, 
and we find the, the messages from the soul and spirit, the intuition from our guides. And so all of that is unfolding. Well, I thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to leave me a comment. And, uh, and if God willing, may God bless you. God protects you. God already loves us immensely. And uh, God willing, I will be back. Huh? So well, thank you very much. Salat.